Hey everyone, it's Rochelle here with Losing It on Keto. And in today's video, what I have for you is I thought I'd show you um, what I'm going to have for my last meal of the day. And if you've been following my videos, you know I'm doing a slightly altered version of Protein Sparing Modified Fast. One in which that I'm only consuming 142 grams of protein a day. Um, anywhere from two to five days a week. So this is my second week of that. I'm preparing my second meal. And what I've done is I've um, mixed up the egg um, wraps that I've made before on this, on this channel when I was um, making the, um, when I was experimenting with the uh, mini dash uh, pie maker. So if you remember, I did the wrap and then I used the crepe. So this is the wrap recipe from Indigo Neely. So just to refresh your memory, this is three tablespoons of egg white protein powder, a quarter cup plus one tablespoon. That's, so that's five tablespoons of water and then one tablespoon of gelatin. So I've got that mixed up and I'm going to use this as my hamburger bun. So this is all protein, so it fits my protocol pretty, pretty well. So I'm going to try and get four out of this one before I was making this with, um, you know, I just get two. But because I want these as hamburger, um, quote unquote, buns, I'm going to try and get four out of this. So I've got my heated skillet. And then I've got another idea for how to make uh, the hamburger patties. And so I'm going to show you that in this recipe as well. So you get um, so you get the whole recipe in terms of how am I making this mixture for my hamburger buns and then how I'm going to use them. So we'll let these cook up. So while that's cooking, let me get some water on this. Okay, I didn't spray the griddle. I'm hoping I didn't need to because it's non-stick. But what I do want to make sure I do is get a thin enough spatula to get underneath it. So what I plan to do is I got this idea watching a video popped up in my feed. And I'm going to try and make my hamburgers using my um, waffle maker. So I saw this the other day. Um, we'll see if it works. I'm thinking actually it would have been better to um, to make these uh, thinner, to make them the size of the of the waffle maker. Whoops. Definitely did not need a uh, non-stick spray here. These these do not stick. They, as you just saw, they slide pretty well. So yeah. So now that I've made these, I probably was better off for um, for this to have made them bigger for what I had intended to to use them for. But that's okay. We'll just have more meat than quote unquote bun. And that's never a bad thing, right? Okay, so let me move that. And while that's going, I'm going to start heating the waffle maker. Let me move that over here. Okay, to have that out of the way. 
And let's see. These are kind of um, the size of like a, a slider, what a slider would be. But we'll make do here. Okay, and now you've seen me use these before. I have my hamburger patty stored in here. <laughs> so these are our four ounce patties. So when this is um, ready to go, I'm going to put one of my patties in here. So this is 95% lean ground beef, uh, grass fed, 100% grass finished. Okay, these are ready to go. So let me take this off. Okay, now let me turn this off and let me get the griddle out of the way here. Okay, now let me bring this forward here. And I'll put it, I like to put it on these silicone pads in case there's any spillage and it catches that and it's easier to move it around. Okay, so as soon as that green light comes on, we're going to attempt to make our uh, hamburger inside just a regular waffle maker. And for those of you that are just following a keto diet, um, you can, you know, you can take a, a tortilla, you know, the, the egg crepes. Um, so if you remember, let me see if I've got them here. And they have them in the bigger size too. But you can take the crampinis or you can take the egg, -like, egg life wraps and, uh, and use them for this. And you can put um, cheese on top of it and use the waffle maker to to melt that along with uh, cooked bacon and such. Um, so you'll see here as I make this how, how you would go about doing that. All right, so let me get one of these patties. Okay, so I've got a four ounce patty here. And you saw my waffle maker was ready. So I just put my four ounce patty in there and pressed down on this. So if you see, this is kind of a, a variation of the carnivore, um, the carnivore waffle. So if you remember that had two eggs and then the four ounces of ground beef. So essentially this is the same thing. You know, I've got the egg white protein powder, a little bit of gelatin, and then the four ounce patty. So essentially, this is a, a carnivore burger. What I'm curious to know is whether the burger is juicy or whether the, um, or whether the uh, waffle maker dries it out. So we'll see. So... Why don't I come back after this is finished cooking and we'll see what we've got. See you back shortly. Okay, it's been a minute or two. So let me show you what we've got here. Let me pull this closer so you can see it a little better. Okay, so here we go. So I can tell you there's juice sitting on top of this here. Let me show this to you. So if you can see that juice sitting on top. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, put that. And um, I actually was wrong. Um, 
this size fits this nicely. Take a look at this. This is a four ounce patty, remember, so that actually fit it, fit it pretty well. So I'm going to cut into this to show that to you, but before I do that, I want to get the, the next one on here. Okay, so while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut into this to, to show this to you. Now remember, if you're doing keto, you could have you could put this back in with the the bun here. In fact, I might do that to crisp up this bun. Let, let's see. But um, but you can put cheese on top of here and bacon and lettuce, tomato if you want, and you can put that back in there, and it'll stick and adhere. But like I said, because I'm doing a very um, strict. Um, version of that, uh, of this, um, you know, extreme version of keto. Um, those items right now are not uh, part of my protocol. So I actually want to put this back in and, and crisp up because right now this feels like an egg life wrap. So I'm going to put this back in when this burger patty is done. So let me come back after I do that. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to take the second patty off. Put that on here. And then I'm going to put the first one back on and, and look to crisp up the, uh, the quote-unquote bun. Shouldn't take much time at all, and I hope it doesn't stick. And I can see on the plate here, there's some juice. So worrying about this drying out doesn't seem to be an issue. So let's see here. It is um, crisping up the bun. Okay, let me take this off. I gotta peel it off, but it's not sticking or anything. And hopefully it did on didn't on the bottom either. Let me get this knife here. Yeah, maybe it is sticking a little bit. So maybe I should have sprayed this a little bit with a little non-stick spray. Um, let me get another a different spatula, smaller one. There we go. Let me get this off. So in the future, I'll know that if I'm going to do this to um, hit this with um, some non-stick spray, it's sticking because of the burger that's, that's on here. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'll clean that off. But yeah, I should have hit that with a little non-stick spray. But let's, let's cut into this and see what we've got. So take a look at this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope the camera's picking that up pretty well. So let me give this a bite. Mmm. Juicy. Um. One thing I should mention to you is I um, seasoned this with steak seasoning. And man, is that good. So yeah, I would suggest, man, is that good. I would suggest if you're going to put it back on here, you either hit it with um, non-stick spray or, um, or you don't do it. So I'll have a little bit to clean up here. So lesson learned, but... This is very good, so I wanted to give you that and show you this 
um, this video, which is, uh, you know, a meal for me on my new protocol, as well as how you can make burgers on the, using your waffle maker. And you can use the wraps and then, like I said, just to do a spray of nonstick spray and you won't have that problem. And if you're doing just keto, I've seen this done, you can just add the cheese onto your wrap and it'll, it'll melt it all together and you can add your, your toppings, bacon or what have you. And then you see another use for my hamburger maker because I just put my hamburger meat in here, pressed it down, and I was ready to go with eight uh, four in, uh, four in, uh, four ounce burgers. So there you have it. That's all I've got for you in this video. Um, hope you liked it and, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop back on real quick and show you how quick of a cleanup it was in case you were worried I had a mess on my hands. So I have this little brush from, um, the mini dash pie uh, waffle maker. I think it was that one. No, the uh, the mini waffle maker. I'm sorry. And uh, this brush came with it. Anyways, it worked very, you know, perfectly. Just a couple quick, quick uh, swipes with this and it cleaned up quite well. So just wanted to show you that I didn't have a, a mess on my hands to clean up in case you were worried about that. And I had a little more, uh, a little more of the, uh, of the burger. And I have to tell you, this is one of the juiciest burgers that I've had. So it was prepared so quickly, such an easy cleanup. So just wanted to hop back in and, uh, and show you the cleanup comment on how juicy the burger is. And like I said, if you're following a different way of eating, you can c certainly top this with, with other ingredients that are, um, you know, compatible with whatever way of eating that you, that uh, that you're following, but this was absolutely perfect for my precision protein sparing modified fast protocol. That is just uh, for me 142 grams of protein on my precision days. So there you have it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.